Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? There are two buttons are there, one for the user to submit and another one to agree to the terms and condition or whatever it is. If the user clicks the submit button without clicking the agree button, then what happens? This flashes. So I can show it once it's flash. This is the flash method of the button. So it draws the user attention. So user is supposed to click this. Then once I once it clicks this, then the submit button, the normal process we can connect it. But here we are for our demo purpose, we are just restoring again click me to agree. So what the user is expected to change this, then click the submit button. And main purpose is this to understand how the flash method of the button can be triggered or can work or how we can give it a uh, the display part of it works. We will learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is a blank template we are using. So first we have imported uh, Kinter, then the parent window is my underscore W and the geometry here, the width and height of the window. These values you can change it. So from here we'll start. First let's declare a font uh, of higher size because we'll be using two buttons here. So first one is the family, font family. I'm saying times. You can change it whatever you want. And the size, here I am giving font size is 22 and the style I am giving normal. You can give bold, italic, anything, whatever you want. So this font I will be using for both the button. So I am declaring it here because it is easy. Now let's add the B1, the first button equal to, this is equal to TK dot button. So here my parent window is my underscore W, what you have declared, uh, my underscore W, fine. So next is let's say what text do you want to write it here you can write whatever your process requires this is your submit button now i'll say sorry here now i'll say font what i have declared it at the top font one i am declaring directly i can write it here because two buttons i am using it is better use a variable tuple i have used now slightly give bigger border width i am giving bd bd is the border width i am giving it here as six so bd is six now what is the command here so command is I am giving, uh, I will give it my update. So command equal to my upd. Now this particular function I have not yet written. So I will write it. So let's place it in the grid. Then I will move that b1 grid. So on the grid, let's. it is the first uh, element or the first row. So I am giving the name as row 0. Now the column, column I can give 0 or uh, this is the left of it. So my uh, next button B2 should go to the right of it. So B2 should be, I should use two or here I'll, okay, let me use one here. So that I will use two. Now pad X slightly, I'm not flushing with the left edge. So I'm giving pad X equal to 10 pad Y equal to little more. I'm giving pad Y means from the top edge, how much I'm giving 60. So this is my two, one button is ready. Now let me just put the second button here b2 the second button equal to tk dot again button now my parent window is my underscore w now text here the text what i will write is click click me to agree or whatever you want you can write it here but this text we have to match it whether the text has changed or not so keep that in mind now what's the font font is font one whatever i have declared it at the top we have already discussed that now again slightly border i am giving border equal to six bigger border i am giving now border then then i am specifying the width because why i am specifying here width equal to 14 and comma next slide why i am coming here is because here the text i am changing so what happens when the less text next time when it changes the button will automatically sync so here to keep that no don't sync it maintain that one so then that's why i am specifying the width otherwise it takes the default weight if your case you don't want that you can leave the uh, sync also now let me just once i place this now let me go for command so command what will happen when this button is clicked lambda lambda now what i am saying is change the text so b2 now the options are various options are there now i am configuring the text option of it text equal to now here i agree now what what i am doing is when once the button is clicked this config this config or it can use configure 
picks up the text option and change the text to I agree. So this is what is my condition for the flash or not to flash. We'll see that. Now one more option also I will add it. Now this is quite important because why this is important is if I, I have to give an active background color and active foreground color. If I am giving active background not giving then flashing won't visible actually it will happen but it will not be visible because the flashing means it's change in colors. So active background color red means from normal it will change to red. Similarly another thing also I can give active foreground also active foreground let me just give yellow fine so this is what uh, okay so let me delete this and bring it here so okay so this is what is my b2 i have completed now let me place it on a grid also otherwise it won't be visible i have to grid now row equal to zero and column column equal to i am giving here two because first button here column is one so right of it column two now pad x equal to 5 and pad y equal to 60. So I am maintaining a little gap from the left and from the top edge. So this is what now let me b2 button is placed. What I don't I have so far not written is my update or the function when I am clicking the button here what will happen that I am not yet written. Okay let's just see whether it allows me to run and see the layout. So let's just see I have my update is not defined no it I, I must define my update or I can let me write it pass also define my update and I am I'll write the code I am right now I am giving pass let's just see how the layout looks. So this should yeah here it is click me to agree now if I will click this what happens see I agree and again just see the how the active state means the back when I am clicking this this you can read this line number 12 here active background red active foreground yellow so when I am clicking this button this background and this uh, foreground for font color also is changing to yellow so that is what now so far this nothing will happen here because we are not written the code we'll start writing our code inside this function because this is where we'll be adding our checking what text it is so first let's check what is the text written on the our button b2 and inside this what is the text so i am writing here text so i am reading the text part of it and if that is equal to click click me exactly it should match to agree note that this is what actually the default text is that means the user has not clicked the button b2 so i am this button b1 you can see this is the my update function is called here so he, this is where let me just give little gap so you can see it here so this is the function we are writing so <coughs> here it is now if it is not written then my button b2 should flash that's all this is the important flashing of the button of the button this is for user attention you want to say the point that uh, button to because if the text is not changed because here you can see whenever I am clicking the button B2 the by using config I am changing it to I agree that's all this solves our problem now else that means the button is user has already clicked at the agree button else you can write your own function for submitting the button whatever code you want that part you can include it here for our this demo purpose let's just restore it back so we can quickly check that what it is so the text we are configuring the text part equal to because it's not a comparison it is just adding the text so we are again writing back click me to agree so if it is just change again restore it back that's what but in your case suppose you want you may write some other code here because that will match to your submit uh, button click let's just run this and see how this works so here it is now you can see if i'll click the submit button because the button is not clicked this is flashing what it is doing it is exactly the text is matching here you can see at line number seven sorry let me move this yeah in line number seven you can see the text exactly it is matching so it is flashing now if i click this then I, it is changed this function works this lambda line number 16 the text I agree it changed. Now if I submit this 
this won't flash but it will change the text back to click me to agree so again it is there so again if i'll click this it will flash now let me just uh, because one important thing is the button which is to be flashed must have a active background or foreground color now let me just remove the background what happens now i am keeping only the active uh, foreground means the font color i am removing this saving this so only the font will change so let's run this and see mm, text i agree fine now you can see this only the background is not changing and it's a yellow color for uh, foreground color so it's just changing to yellow and coming back that also you want don't want the foreground to change only the background then place that again back see and remove this part this foreground will remove it so what happens now only the background will change but it must have a active background of foreground otherwise it we can't change see the notice the changes now let me just click it again you can see the color of the font is not changing that's all friend this you can use it in your applications anywhere you can where you want the user attention to be drawn to a particular event so a button user must click before doing something else so here this is where it will be useful so uh, we'll further move it again how we'll handle the battle uh, button properties how to list out all the properties and all uh, all the options sorry all the options its values and all we'll study that part i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently add that also and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching